Pacific. I was nuking a half-eaten burrito. I found what? Hey, V. Talking with Michael is like a game of 3D chess. Don't let her derail you. You seem a bundle of nerves. I have a mind to kill the bastards with my bare hands. So yeah, you could say I'm a teensy bit nervous. Some deeds about her could be useful. When I talk to her, don't you think? No, leave the talking to me. How do you aim to get her over to our side? By telling the truth. About Evelyn. What happened and why. Think that'll cut it? No. Have to improvise from there. So in brief, I'm just here as your hustle, right? Never said that. I just know the woman better. I'm ready.
Let's go. Hold on. I'll open it. Looks like you've come this way before. More than once. <laughs> I have, on occasion. Easy as pie, yeah. Follow me. Judy Alvarez. I'd say it's great to see you, but I've never been one to lie. Also, I never like surprise parties, but you know. Yep, bet I even know why. Thought you'd hit rock bottom when you joined the mocks. Guess you've managed to stoop even lower now. Consorting with a persona who is very non grata. Yes, V. I mean you. Oh, don't mind me. Just here to blend into the decor. That's no reason. Why come at all? To make sure Judy gets what she came for. Jude would have had a better chance without you. Judy has a proposal about clouds. Wanna come back? Done. Always valued your skills, you know that. Just don't get why you had to drag this loose end in here. Stop treating dolls like meat and I'll consider it. But first things first. Clouds needs to be taken from the Tiger Claws. Okay, look. It's clear what happened to Ev was traumatic. Huh? I was convinced you didn't know. That girl was asking for an unhappy ending. I was just surprised it took so long. We gotta do something! Or everyone will end up like Evie! Woodman raped her while she was unconscious, then sold her like she was so much scrap. Yeesh, you've always been unstable. Okay, since you seem more reasonable, care to explain what this is about? Judy's idea? Think about it. Could work. Well, well, Jude. See, you found a true and loyal fan. You aware what Woodman did to Evelyn when she was desperate for help? You sit by, let that happen? Tiger Claw bosses rule this place. Know how much I mean to them? About as much as you two and your problems mean to me. Read negligible. Does it make you wonder why you even work here? Gonna pretend as if you two weren't ever here. For old time's sake, Judy. Literally moments from now, security's gonna figure out you're here. Got two options. Go out the way you came in, or get thrown out. And that's not a threat or figure of speech. Just a friendly heads up. Had enough. I'm leaving. Smart move. And, so you don't think I'm brushing you off completely, Forrest will be on the maintenance level in a couple minutes. Alone. I'm not your enemy here. And I didn't ask for your opinion. You picked the wrong side, Maiko. I'll be the judge of that. That went smoothly. She totally blew us off. Know what I think? She's scared stiff. She'd have lots to lose if things went sour. Everything, in fact. So she'll just let things go on as usual?
You two have a history? Way back, yeah. I think I just felt lonely. Like everyone in Night City. She was different then. And so was I. Can't trust people that see everything as a numbers game. Line between patting you on the back as their friend and planting a knife in you as their enemy is down to a decimal. I know. Right there with you, I... Well, used to have a big crush on her. Took me a long time to realize who she really was. But still, honest or crooked, we need her. Just think, could have gone diving this morning. A little unwinding do you good. Do me good too, actually. I wouldn't have been unwinding, not exactly. Got an idea buzzing in my head, working it, but I can't say if it'll amount to anything. Yeah, you, a deck chair, and a Mai Tai with a cocktail umbrella. Somehow, I don't see it. No. Me in the deck chairs, me mulling over coulda, shoulda, wouldas. Something I avoid right now. Wait a sec. What about Woodman? You sure he's gonna be there? You met Maiko. If that prick still works here, it's cause he follows her orders pretty damn precisely. Don't have an ounce of sympathy for that motherfucker. So, we going there? Damn straight. Let's end him. We'll take the elevator. Quickest way. Maintenance level. Control yourself! You know what's worse than a corpo? A wannabe corpo bitch. You mean Michael? Piece of work, that one. But I'll give her credit. She's dead on about your chances of pulling this off.
who survived the crash landing were met by a band of nomads. Fortunately, Ken Cowles survived. Surviving... the ground floor to get out of this place. Almost felt like the world would be a better place once he died. And the feeling, it was so fucking strong. World did change though. All the people he could have hurt, they're all safe now. Think of that. They'll never even know they were in danger. Nothing I can do if you don't help me. <laughs> Guess that's that. Ha! Ah, you give it in. You're screwing with my head. There's that tone. Yelly with something big. Appealing to her sense of justice wasn't big enough? Michael only works with specifics. For a minute there, thought you were about to call it quits. B, I go for days tuning virtues in a basement. Know what the chances are of somebody blowing my head off down there? Minuscule. Same as Michael's empathy. Unlike you, I don't put myself out there. But this ain't over. Not yet. You know, I'm also partial to specifics. Uh-huh. So that's what matters. How many you'll drop. How much ammo you'll use. How many eddies it'll get you. Art and dreams of freedom can't be everyone's food. Sometimes. You gotta deal with the dirt. So, when now? Gotta think. We need more bodies, that's for sure. I'm gonna talk to the dolls. I'll call you when I've got something. See you later, V, and thanks.
I tell you a joke. Sure, be my guest. What must all trauma team medics swear to uphold? The hypocritical oath! Okay, what's going on? Hey there, stranger! I'm Brendan, your friendly neighborhood SCSM, and the nicest AI in all of Night City. You can select from a wide range of beverages, or just drop by for a chat. Anytime. Now it's your turn. What's your name? Why am I talking to a schism? Uh, my name's V. Pleasure to meet you, V. Do you come here often? Nope, first time here. Wouldn't you know? I could tell you weren't from around here. What with that homesickness of yours. And you know what the best cure for homesickness is? A sweet, refreshing... Lightly carbonated beverage. Okay, you've got me. I'm sold. Sold? Nothing's gonna be sold here. Cause you know what? I'm gonna give you a can of Night Cola for free. Thanks. Brendan, right? <laughs> That's right! Gosh, it's so cool you remembered. Even for a simple SCSM. Do you know any jokes? Who's always limbo champion at mercenary cookouts? The Solo! Cool. So did you want something from me? Oh, yes. Well, I do apologize for taking advantage of you at this early stage in our friendship. But could I ask you for a favor? What happened? See that container in front of me? It's completely blocking my view of the street. Depriving an SCSM of its greatest pastime. Could you move it a bit to the side? I'll reward you with my undying gratitude. Even though, technically, I don't stock that. I'll see what I can do. How you look is all that matters. Thank you, V. Boy, are you strong. Here, have a refreshing beverage. On me. This whole nice act of yours is just way too much. That's just how I was programmed. You think anybody'd interact with a grumpy, spontaneous, craving satisfaction machine? Exactly. Would you even be able to offend me? Ooh, come on, Sam a whore. Why would I want to do that? You just saved me. You can do it, I believe in you. Ahem. <clears throat> you... You're an amazing, sweet, wholesome woman who accepts Eddie's in exchange for intercourse. So, how'd I do? Almost. You almost had it. Catch you later, Brendan. Catch me? Why? Will I be falling? It's just something you say as a way of goodbye. Oh, I get it. I mean... I don't, because catching has nothing to do with goodbyes, but... Oh well. Don't humans say the darndest things? Catch you later, V. <laughs> what a neat phrase.
Listen, got a golden opportunity for you. Word on the streets that when Waco says golden, it's usually a turd wrapped in crepe paper. It's a... Finish this another time. Right, so then what? So, what's the spec? Caroline Jablonski. Set off any buzzers for you. Murdered in cold blood. Made waves a few years back. They locked the guy up. But now there's a chance he could walk. Jablonski's family wants to balance the scales of justice for good. You'll finish him. So you want me to murder someone? Wait. This isn't the Dalai Lama. Must have gotten the wrong number. You didn't arrive at this pond yesterday, P. You know how the fish get sliced. The perp been proven guilty? Meaning he deserves to die, truly? Do I look like a criminal prosecutor to you? What'd he do, exactly? I'm not a beat reporter, neither. You want the job or not? Alright, I'm in. Good. Client will be waiting for you by a car at the corner of 6th and Brandon. Huh? In a car? Client wants to tag along. Be there in person when you put a bullet through the guy's eye. Good luck. Gotta get to a ripper, man. I... Yeah! I'll pay you. Mm, depends. What's wrong with you? You serious? You want my patient history too? Just want to be sure it's no cyber psychosis or anything. No, it's a <laughs> normal implant malfunction. Happy? You helping me or what? All right. Great. Why are we standing here? <laughs> to the car! Now! Uh, satisfaction guaranteed, they said. Let me guess. Mr. Stud, XCV-19 series. Yeah. How'd you know? Know my implants. Including the black market stuff. Faulty series. Got recall. Still selling it on the street, though. Hey! Listen! Thanks for not- Just our luck. Ah, go! Just go! Mow him down! Chill, chill. Be gone in a sec. Chill! You tell me to chill! It burns! Fuck, it burns! Chill. I'm doing what I can. What I said to my output. She didn't like that too much. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! <laughs> you really gotta keep yelling like that? You don't even know how much it hurts? Like I'm screwing a goddamn pencil sharpener! Well, suffer in silence, Jim. Heard what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Funny. Oh, it hurts. It hurts like a motherfucker. Okay, we're. Hey, you after? I'll call you. But. <sighs>
up with your hands up! NCPD! I need to be alone. Like to buy some iron. You're just gonna sit by some. What happened? Oh, Your implants. Done or not done? It is of no importance. A bhikkhu does not defile his body through cyber modification. It is against the Platimoksha. And yet, they knew about this. For me, there is no return. Hold on. Somebody forced you? Not just me. My brother, too. They drugged us. Desecrated my body. And all the while, they mocked me. How can you do this to a fellow human being and still mock them? Makes no sense. Who'd go and do some... This and why? We were out begging for alms when, when they approached us. They laughed at us and asked if we would take implants as a donation. They looked more machine than human. 
They told us they would improve us like tools. Maelstrom. How about your brother? He's still with them? Yes. I was first. Then, they were trying to decide how... how to modify him. You look like someone who can reason with these people. I beg you, please, help my brother. I only hope it is not too late. I do not wish for him to end up like... like I have. What's in it for me? I don't work for free, you know. I cannot offer anything more than my gratitude. Just this once. Please, make an exception. The universe shall compensate you. Fine. I'll help. But just so you know, things might get ugly. Maelstrom doesn't mess around. There must be some other way. Help us, please. But without any bloodshed, I beg you. I'll see what I can do. Either way, your brother's getting out. I do not know how to thank you. They're keeping him in a shop just north of here. You shall find it next to the road along the docks. How poetic. A monk in distress. They should include this in your epic. What are you gonna do? Cross your legs and meditate till they drop dead? Wish you'd drop dead. Listen, what if instead of an arm, we chipped him with iron? Every time he'd have to take a piss, he'd... <laughs> ah, and then he'll start a next-gen Buddhist fellowship of... Forget this! Full metal monks! <laughs> So this is where they're keeping our fellow brother. Do this! Invitations against my police! Please! Wait for that one time!
Calm down. It's over now. I'm not with them. So... What are you doing here? What happened? Glad I got here in time. Are you okay? Did they do anything to you? I was lucky. They could not decide which implant would be... funnier. Cyber psychos. The lot of them. Nice talking to you. Glad I got here in time. Are you okay? Did they do anything to you? I was lucky. They could not decide which implant would be... funnier. Cyber psychos. The lot of them. One... One of them wanted to remove my jaw. The thought itself gave me shivers. Thankfully, did not get the chance. To what do I owe this intervention of yours? Was walking by and caught some lame jokes about metal monks. Think about Maelstrom. They're never just joking. Not with the truths that your brother sent me. He didn't want the same thing to happen to you. Thank you for coming to my rescue. But my life is not worth the death of others. One good deed does not justify the suffering you have sown. You have committed evil in its purest form. I liked your brother more. How'd you even get taken by Maelstrom? Most people avoid him like the plague. We are here as strangers. We wander from place to place. When we arrived in Night City, we had no time to identify its dangers. Don't monks live in monasteries? It used to be, they did not. My brother and I belong to a group that follows the earliest Buddhist teachings. It is an interesting life. We have met many unusual people. So I see. There's no need for sarcasm. We know the world is dangerous. But if one takes no risks, one will never know what lies beyond the front door. I'm sure you understand. What was I supposed to do? Read him a sermon? Maelstrom shoots first, then asks questions. You always have a choice, including not to act at all. That is the most difficult of the paths. I would prefer to lose the only body that I have than to live with the thought that somebody died on my account. Leave me. I must catch my breath before I go to my brother. It is him who needs saving now. Who knew monks were ungrateful little brats? Maybe you should apologize for saving this Ganic ass too. Tired of assholes saying there are good and bad people in this world. There are only good choices and shitty ones. Must have made a good one, because why else would Karma leave all this sweet gear just ripe for the picking? I like where you're going with this.
Hey, look. Well, well. 